And now let's make our own tab. Now, it's nice that we have this button here, print to PDF, but uh, what if we want to have our own ribbon in here? We can make it. So let's go to File, then Options, and Customize Ribbons in here. So all our ribbons, we already know the place. And we can create a new tab. Here it is, and we can rename it, uh, saying My Tab, for example, or whatever you like could be business analysis. And uh, here, the groups here are practically those groups. Like this is a code group and then add-ins group of the developer tab. And uh, what we want to add, we want to add here our macro. Those are all macros from data analysis tool pack because remember we uh, switched on the reference to it. And here's our macro PDF. Add, and here it is, and we can call the group also, uh, let's say, reporting. Okay, okay. And now we have a new tab, but the sign is here is pretty ugly. Fortunately, we can still change it. Going back to customize ribbon reporting, here is our PDF. Again, rename. And we can uh, choose any of those symbols in here. So let me choose this one. Okay. Here it is. So practically you can use, uh, you can create your, your own tab and uh, you can place here your own macros or uh, something from data analysis tool pack or something that you most often use. What I would suggest to add also is spelling. Again, going back to customize ribbon, and uh, is it in popular comments? Yes, here it is. We can add here in our reporting, and we can also change the order. So we first check the spell and then uh, print the PDF. Okay. Now it's here, and every time we want to change the check the language, here it is. You are good to go. Okay. And then we can print the PDF. But realistically, a personal tab like that has some unfortunate limitations. So first, if you send uh, this file with your personal tab to somebody else to use on another computer, uh, then the tab will disappear. So uh, the only way for files for, let's say, external use uh, is to uh, get the buttons embedded into the worksheets for macros. But uh, the good side is that on your local computer, uh, no matter what file you open, uh, the personal tab will be there. But then another problem goes, since uh, your macros are saved in the workbooks, if you're opening another file and uh, press a button on your tab uh, that refers to the macros in another workbook, then Excel will complain that it cannot find the macro. So a possible solution to that problem is uh, to save all your macro in a uh, personal macro workbook. You can find it like in developer when you start recording a macro, it's uh, here, a uh, personal macro workbook. And when you save the first um, macro in there, it will also appear in a Visual Basic Editor in here. Uh, so when all your macros in a uh, personal macro workbook, uh, then you can access them from any file. But a uh, personal uh, macro workbook is nothing more than just uh, another Excel file that is stored on a particular place in your computer. So, and every time you open any Excel file, this personal macro workbook also gets opened. Uh, so to enable all the macros and it becomes pretty annoying, I must say. So. Um, the only way, I would say, uh, that makes sense to use uh, a personal tab is uh, coupled with personal macro workbook uh, when you use a lot of macro by your own and only on a single computer. Otherwise, I would suggest uh, saving macro uh, in the uh, workbooks and embedding the buttons in the uh, worksheets.